Hi, welcome to the Barn Kitchen. I've had a lot of people ask me about a recent post that I put on my Facebook page, which was talked about the benefits of lard over the traditional oils that we've got today, like Crisco and canola. And I, I wanted to show people how easy it is to actually make your own lard from rendering pork fat. We butchered a couple of pigs this past week, and I asked the butcher to keep the fat for me, which is what I've got right here. So what I'm going to do today is show you how easy it is to turn it into your own lard to use for your pie crusts and, and other um, frying agents that you could, or use it as a frying agent versus the Crisco and the canola, which is basically a byproduct of a bunch of chemical operations in today's society. Um, so anyway, let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is grind this pork into small pieces as tiny as possible. It's partially frozen right now and that's what you want. It's easier to work with. So you're, you'll take the big pieces like the slabs here that I got from the butcher and I'm going to cut those so that they'll go into my grinder on my KitchenAid mixer here and come out into tiny pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. We'll start with these first few chunks. Turn on the mixer and put it on down in there and get going. Like I said, it is partially froze, so you're going to have to push it in and get, get it started. Speed that up. It's just fat. That's all it is. You want the little, pos little pieces, as tiny as possible, so that it will cook faster when you put it in the crock pot. It won't take quite as long. And if you don't have a grinder, you can just cut it into as small pieces as possible. But this is really handy, and it gets it all uniform so everything will cook the same. So I've got quite a batch here to do. I'm going to go ahead and get that ground up, and then we'll get it stuck in the crock pot, and I'll show you that. I got all of the pork fat ground up in my KitchenAid processor, brought my crock pot down here, and have put it in there, and now it's basically just a waiting game. I do want to mention, though, that it's easiest if you cut your pork and grind your pork when it's frozen, so it's not so gooey. This started out frozen, started thawing on me a bit, and you can see it's got really sticky. It's just turned to mush. I've set the crock pot right now on 14 hours. I don't know exactly how long it'll take. You just have to keep an eye on it to, to watch it so it doesn't burn. Also, I added a fourth a cup of water to the bottom of the crock pot before I put the fat in there just to keep it from, from burning and sticking until it gets completely melted. You want to leave the lid off of your crock pot just to let the, the steam and moisture evaporate. And right now it's just a waiting game. So we'll just keep an eye on it and get back to you as things progress. Okay, so it has been about three hours. And what we've got here is the fat is pretty well cooked. But then you have all of this like gristle and meat left in there they call it the krakens so what you're going to do now is you're just still going to leave this alone leave it in the crock pot till these cook up they will raise to the top drop down and then raise up and drop down again and then we'll be ready to start straining it off okay we're well into the process here i about got carried away and forgot to turn the video camera back on but what i have done is i have taken my ladle and scooped the krakens out of the crock pot that was melting the lard or the fat in. These are the krakens, so you take your ladle when everything is melted and they have rose and sunk twice, and then I'm just scooping them out into another container. And then from there, you're going to take the lard and strain it into whatever container of you want. I'm using an old ice cream um, container because I thought it would be easy to scoop it out of. Um, I kind of am going slow because I wasn't sure how it was going to control handle the heat of this lard, but so far it seems to be doing good. I set up a jelly cloth strainer. You could use cheesecloth. Um, you want something that's going to get all the impurities out of it. So I am just taking it and running it through my jelly cloth and letting it go down into the ice cream bucket there. 
and from there it will harden up it will turn a nice white cream color actually it should be a pretty pretty brilliant white and then I can use it for pie crust um, pastries um, I happen to be a soap maker so this makes also a wonderful soap you use it as one of your base oils and that is the process it's just as easy as can be and here we have the finished product came out beautiful it's perfectly white and clear none of the crackles in it it's soft and creamy it'll be easy to scoop out of this um, ice cream container to measure for recipes and I couldn't be happier anyway there you go if you if you have the chance to render your own lard if you've got if you've got some hogs that you're gonna butcher or know somebody or just go to the butcher and buy some it is pure it's natural it's what our ancestors used for centuries and there you go Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.